Hello, this is Paul from Foresight Tech. In this video, let's prove theorem 1.5.3 uh, equivalence theorem. You know, this is the more, one of the most important theorem okay, in the linear algebra. Um, this theorem just gave us an equivalent statement for the invertible, the okay, invertibility of a square matrix. And here we have, uh, so A is the beginning, right? So A is invertible. So what kind of condition we have? C equivalent or the B or equivalent to C or D. So B is a homogeneous linear system. A x equals zero has only the trivial solution. Means what? Equivalence means this. If A is invertible, then we know this linear system has only trivial solution. And all backwards. If the linear, uh, the homogeneous linear system has trivial solution only, and then A should be invertible. Means from A, we can get a B. And from B, we also can get A. So therefore, there's two conditions. A statement we call equivalent, okay. <clears throat> Mm, so what is C? C is the reduced row rational base I identity. The equivalent that D is a, a is re expressible as a, a product of elementary. It means uh, if A is invertible, uh, it's equivalent to A can be written down as a product, okay, or a product of elementary matrix C. Um, now. Let me give a proof. So we follow this basic strategy. See, we follow uh, this strategy. So a proof of A and then B, and then C, and then D. Okay. Uh, if A is true, I get B is true. If B is true, I get C is true. If C is true, I get D is true. If D is true, I can find A is true back. Okay, I get a loop. Uh, you can imagine in this way, see, A and C is equivalent because A can get B, get a C, and the C also can get A. So the same for all other. So we do this, uh, 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 this strategy, okay, so to, uh, to the basic proof. So now we look at it one by one, A. Okay. So here, 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 and here. And the proof uh, A to B first. Let's see A to B. What is it? A is invertible. B is the linear system has a trivial solution only. Uh, means A is true. Why B is true? That's uh, super easy because A is invertible and then we can solve for X, right? And the left multiply by inverse of a, so x is zero. That's true, right? So here is quite a simple because uh, a x equals zero. Therefore, we can do this. We can left multiply inverse of a. So left multiply inverse of a. See, uh, inverse of a times a is i. So disappear, right? So x equals so easy. We get x equals zero, means the only trivial solution. So that's good. And then b to c. Okay, what is b to c? Um, b is the homogeneous linear system has only trivial solution. C is a reduced the row echelon form of a. Uh, is i n. Okay, is a identity. We do have a result before. Uh, the result is that for any square matrix, the reduced row echelon form either identity or has one row on the bottom or zero. Okay, or zero. And you see, so now we just use that result. Uh, let me just write down the result. Okay, so we have, we have this. That's the theorem 1.4.1. Okay, so let me write. Here, uh, 1.4, uh, 0.3, okay, says this. For a square matrix, okay, and A is a square, right? 
So A square matrix, square matrix A, or the reduce the row echelon. Okay, R R E reduce the row echelon of uh, square uh, matrix A. Has only two cases. The first set either equals a uh, identity, okay, I, or the second. There's one row on the bottom or zero. Okay, so this is the theorem we are going to use. Um, what do we need to prove? We need to prove uh, C. The reduced relation is I. Okay, is, is a identity, not uh, the second case. Oh, is the second case wrong? Yes, it is because it says B is true. See, B x equal zero has only the trivial solution. Okay, and for this case, okay, for the second case, what do we have for this case? Uh, definitely we can get a, uh, the leading one. Okay, so the leading one of A should be less than the row number. Therefore, we have. Uh, at least the one free variable, right? Okay, at least the one free variable. Okay, for a x equal zero. This means what? And this means the infinitely many solution. Okay, means infinitely many solution. Why is infinitely many solution? Because uh, the free variable you can uh given a lot of uh, infinite values each value corresponding to one solution the infinite value for the free variable so infinitely many solutions therefore this case is not correct right so what do we get so finally we have this so the reduced rational of a should it be equals identity of course the size is n that's C. Okay, so C is a chip. Okay, so now we go from C to D. So means uh, reduce the rational if uh, reduce the rational is uh, identity, and then uh, we say A is uh, expressible as a product of elementary matrices. Okay, let me show this way. So now is C to D, right? Why? <clears throat> C says the reduced relation of A as identity, and the D says uh, A can break it down or decompose into elementary, come together. See, I do this because of the rule echelon. Okay. So we only need this a rule operation. Okay. Uh, A go through uh, row operations. A sequence of row operations can go to reduce the rule echelon. I, this is the reduce the row echelon. We already say of A. What does this mean? Okay. And this means uh, uh, A left the multiply, okay, a sequence of elementary equal to I, right? By the theorem 1.5.1. Okay. So this one means A times a sequence like a E1. E2, that, 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 go to the last, whatever, let me say K, should be equals identity, right? So this is the theorem, 1.5.1, okay? Because each row operation is a multiplication of matrix multiplication. And from here is good, I can get a discrete expression of A. Because uh, each elementary is invertible, so therefore this should be invertible, right? See, this should be invertible. Okay, so therefore I can get the matrix A is that. So I do calculation. So A equals inverse of K. This matrix because they come together. Uh, or you simply say, so this matrix, this is a, a big matrix. If I like, I put a parenthesis, see. And uh, uh, the inverse of this matrix is A, or A is the inverse of this. 
um, is this the break down decomposition? No, we have another. The inverse of uh, product, they got the product of the inverse, right? Okay. And uh, we have a property for, therefore, this equals, but uh, in the reverse order. So I change the order, which is E1 inverse, E2 inverse, da, da, da. go to the last. Uh, is each one uh, elementary? Yeah, definitely. Okay. So this is elementary. This is elementary. Each one is elementary. Okay. That's all uh, elementary matrix. Because uh, the previous theorem, right? So 1.5.2, we just have. Okay. So that's the proof, right? So for A, break it down into elementary matrix times together. And then uh, we have the last is D to A. D to A, and the D to A is quite easy. Um, why D means A already break it down into elementary, okay? You just uh, use this, and the A means uh, the matrix A is invertible, see? And the each elementary invertible, right? So the uh, product of uh, the invertible matrix is invertible, okay? So all, that's easy, we only need this result. And we have this result before. Uh, the product of invertible is invertible. Okay, so therefore, all proved. That's all. Thank you.